Hello, hello and welcome back everyone to Star Wars Empire at War as of course the CIS. We have recently taken Hypori, Rathana and indeed Balmora. So we are really pushing our advantage onto the Republic now in both re uh, remaining sectors of the galaxy that the Republic do in fact hold on to. It's very likely, um, although we do need to scout out to ensure this is the case, uh, this particular fleet is the largest fleet that the Republic currently has standing. Now, as I say, um, we do need to scout to ensure that's the case and really back that up. However, if we look at the faction statistics screen, we can probably uh, make a really good estimation on that really being the case. If we look at the Republic's uh, stats down here, of course they have 17 planets in total, compared to our 76 is massive, um, but the percent of military strength is only 21 compared to our 78, which is a massive, massive lead indeed. And the enemy's income is roughly uh, 6,200 or so, uh, with the total uh, income being 9.4,000 and uh, taking away 3.2 upkeep is you know pretty decent estimation there they don't have very many credits in the bank so uh, they can't make too much at the moment at all so any losses we inflict on them right now will be absolutely massive and as I say we really want to get rid of this particular fleet there's a lot of escorts and uh, type ships but of course that Praetor will be a massive loss for them with their current income and such I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what they uh, cost but it's certainly more than 9,000 uh, so if we can get rid of that, that'd be excellent. However, that's not the priority objective for today. We'll certainly take an opportunity if we see it, um, simply because that's going to be a tough, tough ask. They don't have ground to orbit weaponry on Kuat, but they do have the Golan 1 secondary platform, as well as a Dreadnought tier shipyard, and it's quite likely they have a Valor class starbase as well. So on top of this standing uh, you know, orbital garrison, they will have of course, stuff coming out of their orbital defensive bases. So what do we want to do today? We want to come back down here and really try and, you know, finish off this gap a little bit more because this is just a flank that we don't want to have to bother about for too much longer. Let's just have a look at what uh, we're creating on Rathana. We're still in the process of creating the bases over there from the ground up. That's absolutely fine. Still in the process here on Hypori as well, but we might actually start thinking about creating Droidic Mark IIs. They do come with ion cannons and they do do their shields uh, improve. Their shields don't improve, but they do get more um, AI blaster cannons, which is excellent. They get more health, they get a tiny bit more health, um, but there's less droidicas per company. That's absolutely not a problem. Um, I do want to try those out. Uh, just to restate, we've not tried standard droidicas too much ourselves previously. Because of uh, pathing issues, they do seem to just get stuck for no particularly good reason. Let's go to Ryloth, create a couple um, probe droids out of these bases here. Um, that should really cover it so far. We only have six planets or so left over here. Let's just create some probe droids in these areas over here. Um, and we'll try and scout a little further to like Kaikelius, Furos, and Coruscant, I think. Maybe even Corida as well. We do have this particular fleece over here to, uh, you know, counter initiates but it's in quite an awkward position over Kilura over here we don't really have anything else to help out over here we do have a providence class dreadnought can't remember exactly where we want to send that so i think we're going to send us over to this particular defensive uh, fleet over here perhaps even to this one no this one's absolutely fine it's got a lot there in fact we do need to get rid of the land-based tactical droid out of there so we'll just do that now very quickly as we press play finally We'll move that around so that doesn't get caught in space. Move back over to Jabim. Can we grab this, please? Thank you very much. Long, long drag. Got a lot of uh, friendly fleets in this area. So we want to move Juaningo to move more offensively. I think we might want to go to Corrida and such once we have scouted that out. And we can do that now. Let's come down here. We will have more units about now. Let's go to Tatooine. We, this marker doesn't actually uh, mean anything. That's from a previous mission, unfortunately. Uh, well, let's come back around, remind ourselves what we're doing. Tatooine, very, very empty. We can take that very quickly. Camino is going to be a bit more of an ask 
Uh, but I think we should be absolutely fine really on the space battle. There's a lot of barracks of course over here. So actually once again pretty damn easy. Quite likely a Valor class starbase with the maximum orbital defensive strength there. That's okay. What about Nelvan and Rhodia? And I think we go to Christophsis as well. So we have over Nelvan a fair fleet there. We can get rid of that hypervelocity cannon to protect. Uh, Christophsis is nothing. If we come back up here, we shall go to Alderaan. We'll go to Coruscant to see what's happening over there. Looks like this fleet is splitting off a tad. We do now have a mission for Conquer Ando for a Sabaeus Destroyer. Not necessarily pressing, but it's a very nice choke point uh, to grab as they've been using Ando, haven't they, to launch attacks into all of the uh, connecting systems. We do still have some open slots for uh, trade centers and trade hubs so we might want to think about using those a bit better can we use one above karima because that's got one two three four five and will be six friendly nodes to go off of so we'll build one there that'll be excellent of course build up the uh, defenses there okay so let's bring over these once again it goes to kaikelis and it goes to naxus as well did we see anything on karida not really too much there which is very good to see we do see Grand Moff, or what is not Grand Moff at the moment, we do see Tarkin over here with a bit of a fleet assembling and a lot of Republic heroes on Coruscant. So that's where they're all staying at the moment, which is good knowledge to have. And Naxus, nothing interesting. So we can see uh, the enemy is very, very empty at the moment. Lost sight of Kuap, that's not too much of a bother. Okay, so I think what we want to do is destroy some production in the orbit space on these few planets here to just uh, make the Republic wander a bit. We want to attack this fleet at Nelvan before that goes to Rindelia, I think. So, Christophsis didn't have a ground to orbit gun. I think Nelvan, it certainly has that hypervelocity cannon. Uh, but we can actually launch a stealth raid there to quite likely take the planet in its entirety. So if we go to our lovely duo of um, Sarge Ventress and Count Dooku once again. Do not gloat until the battle is won, they can certainly do that. We'll join those up. Revolution soon will be and we'll start getting on top of the buildings over here as well. I've got one more slot over here. What is the income at Hyporia? Is nothing. That is very interesting indeed. Why would that be? It just doesn't have one, so there's no point in taxing it. Uh, or let's. I think we're going to go on the basis that we're going to go on the attack here. So we'll just build another factory. We have all of our possible factories at the moment. So another heavy factory is great for general production. Let's move then over here. And we have both of these heroes here. Let's go to Nelvan. And while we're doing that, we'll source ourselves out of the Camino, I think, is the next best target. Alrighty, so what do they have? They do have that Valor class star base. So we'll be seeing uh, some fighters, bombers, and some corvettes come out of that. But really, that's just a massive amount of hit points to chew through and a lot and lot of guns attached to it. So we're certainly going to bring in Otto for his very the good command. And we're certainly going to bring in a couple of Bulwark 2s for their massive battering power. And of course, Plenty lots and lots and lots and lots order. of carriers okay. as well would be great. So, fleet has come in. We did bring in another Providence class uh, destroyer there, just for that extra, uh, you know, fighting power. A couple of Order these out. munificence as well for their good long range support. And we brought in a captor for extra uh, fighter and bomber reserves as well, which is great. Did move a couple of these uh, carriers up for their very minor point defense capabilities, just in case some bombers do come through. So, Quite probably going to lose one or two of those in the process of this battle, but it's really not a problem. We'll let the acclimator and such move in one at a time. Piecemeal is always the best meal as far as we're on the defense. And we will group up all of our bombers. So you can control click for all of one type of uh, ship. That makes good sense there. We'll just get these uh, fighters out here as well. These come with they're just simple laser cannons and such, which is fine. Move these ahead. Bring back the fighters for now because the pelters will do some damage against those with their minor uh, lasers and such. They do have good accuracy. Arcturns will go down. Bring back these a tad now then. And just try and uh, whistle down these pelters, I think, before we move in with our bombers. Because they will make a good difference against us. In aptitude, usually with a lightsaber. Oh. 
So we've got a few enemy bombers coming in. We are going to absolutely swarm those. We have dealt with the majority of pelters. Do have a uh, cruiser over here, Dreadnought Cruiser, but uh, the mass range on our bulwarks will deal with that very handily. Only scratching our shields there, are they? So get on top of these fighters and such quite handily. Just uh, mark that the tiniest bit. So we'd see the units indicator are going a bit mental there for those Y wings. But we'll certainly win this uh, little fight about it. Just a case of whistling the enemy down. We can certainly afford some patience for this battle. Uh, it's really not going to be too difficult whatsoever if we do not just rush in. We do still have a good amount of ships to uh, chew through here. Okay, so the enemy's charging in with a lot of corvettes and such now. We're just uh, dealing a little bit with our own movement orders. Just an attack move forwards. Uh, in a few different groups there to split us up a tad. Let's pull back our bombers once again because those corvettes aren't going to do us any, uh, any favours. Well, we might as well push forwards. We have our fighters tying up enemies there. Let's push on a few more and actually get some of these V-wings and such. Dealing with the corvettes down here very handy in a massive, massive flood of rockets and proton bombs and such will be coming in. And all of the hard points on these cruisers are very bunched up, so we can see the massive amount of damage just stripping through them there. Absolutely disgusting to see. Perhaps we can bring our bombers round. Do you like to just uh, get the isolated golems with a massive amount of bombers? And we can just grab a few of these fighters to really deal with the incoming bombers. So damage will add up. Damage really will add up against our own ships there if they're allowed to uh, continue. And we'll stay at range with our larger ships at the moment to deal with the uh, enemy dreadnoughts and such. Though we are really battering that once again. Bombers are going to get through largely, but interrupted by one enemy TIE fighter so far. Let's grab a few of these fighters over and really swarm the enemy. There's no need to linger with all of these numbers over here. And let's finally just do a massive attack move over here and get in range on the Valor Star base. We are massively hurting this particular Golan. Getting some good rockets out as well. Fair spread on the bombs. We'll get half of the half points, you should think. That's very nice indeed. Really stripping down the HP and stuff there. Let's just spread out a tad. Get that fighter bear. We do see some Corvettes and fighters coming in. So we'll just move in, tie those up. Quite a brain dead, m massive maneuver there. And that will rip apart that go. And let's go to the flank again and see if we can just uh, whistle down the capsule shipyard there. Actually, it's not a capsule, it's, it's just a heavy frigate shipyard. We do have some idle fighters and such over here. Not really needed at the reserve at the moment, are they? Because there's just nothing over here. We are bunching up, but it's really not too much of a bother. We'll just tell these ships to just directly attack now, I think. But we'll keep our carriers close by. Do we have any more idle ships? We've got our Pathfinder over here that's doing nothing. That's not too much of a bother once again. We will do all power to weapons, full salvo over here. Uh, proton torpedoes do a massive amount of damage to enemy shields. We'll whistle through that. We'll whistle, absolutely tear through the shields there. Look at that. Really going down there. So now we want to just take our couple of munificence and just uh, spread out our fire a little bit towards the turbo lasers. The Valor Starbase does provide fleet tenders, so it will try to heal itself up. So we'll be fighting against that a tad. We have destroyed the enemy uh, shipyard over here. Let's come back with our bombers and help against the Starbase here, shall we? That would be great. See, we're getting in a little close here, but it's not so much of a bother as we are ripping through the enemy's hard points that are facing us. So the enemy should be struggling with their hard points and firing arcs, and that would be absolutely brilliant. And there we go, very nice victory there indeed. So that does open up the way to Camino. What we're going to do, however, though, is make sure we have a Pathfinder for Grievous and keep up over here with our invasion of Nelvar. So we'll just rush on through with Grievous to raid Ando Christophsis as we find our way over to Nelvar. We are going to just catch a few of these uh, dastardly LR-57s once again. We do have a hypervelocity cannon on Ando to worry about. But I don't think that's going to be too much of a bother with the very light defences in orbit here.
So, having said that, let's bring Dooku straight in here, and when possible, we'll try and build up a military base here. Absolutely brilliant. Rush Ventress straight on over to the command post here. It's really not too far away. See some sort of enemy structure over here. They have local militia helping them. Not a problem there. They won't make much of a difference. Let's capture this base over here. We do see that local militia coming in very quickly. Just press fast forwards to get this up. Destroy the militia there. Is it will contest? What do we get? We get the jail speeder out. Okay, that's interesting. It's not, not going to do too much for us. So we'll help against the TX-130 a tad. I can draw some fire away. Let's get a Dooku about. Yeah, running away there is just going to be a bit annoying to be honest. So this is armed with concussion grenades. So it's largely better against uh, infantry. It's not a problem. See that coming back. Let's draw us into the uh, newly built anti-tank uh, turret. So let's go through with our droids we've just created here. Wait for some reinforcements. We do have that hub over here which we need to uh, destroy to stop the garrison coming out here. So let's get on that. Is that not quite in range here? Not quite. It is going to be in range now though. It will do some good damage. We have the uh, dwarf spiders over here to deal with the TX-130 as well. Not the greatest threat to Jedi though, because it is largely anti-vehicle guns on there. We have a good amount of units coming out over here. We really, we'll just rush through here, destroy the speeder over here. Struggling with the terrain there, but we're getting there. Do you get some nice big slap there? Let's move straight to the hyper velocity cannon. That is of course our main target. So let's move up over here. Get the jail speeder to deal with these units. See the grenades coming out there and provide some good splash damage onto the Republic gunners there. Move over. Do we have any enemy turrets to be wary of over here? We've got an anti-vehicle turret. Let's destroy this base, I think, so we do get less firepower coming towards us there. We can capture that ourselves as well to help us out. Duke are really shredding through the uh, clone troops over the shock troopers. Interesting. This is standard ones. Though we do have an anti-air turret there that will destroy this particular jail speeder but it won't do much else as far as the battle is concerned. Start on the Hyper Velocity Cannon here, there's Dooku, get him if we can onto the anti vehicle turret. Sarge so can do a work over here. Enemies uh, managed to capture the local garrison. Do have some more hubs over here, some more militia over here. Let's deal with that. Slowly tearing through the Hyper Velocity Cannon, not too much of a bother, we have all day we can actually take this planet as it stands. Is that that's our main objective done with this particular battle? Get rid of that. And I think we've got another military field base here for more numbers, of course. Deal with uh, the garrisons. In fact, we'll bring the dwarf spider droids to help out against the buildings here because that jail speed is just taking its time. Here we go. Let's get onto this uh, walker. Deal with the troopers. Don't know why they're also massively firing on the neutral building over here. Move over, right into the enemy base. Deal with this. Get that off our backs. Deal with that and move straight in and we can deal with this very nicely indeed. And there we go, Novan is very easily ours. So we're running with Grievous to catch this particular fleet station above, and that will be ours very nicely indeed. So uh, a small fleet, 128 pop cap, largely corvettes and such, four acclimated carriers, an assault and an acclimated two, escorted by Venator there. So we'll see a fair amount of enemy fighters and such come out, and I'm sure we'll rip the enemy apart very easily indeed once again. 
So once again, not really too much of a need to think too hard about this. We'll spawn at a bit of a distance and we'll get to Grievous Arms, of course, with some good backline support here. And of course, the usual smatterings of carriers. Bring those a little forward or a couple of a tad forward. We will also bring, I think, a couple of these recusants if possible. Just some extra laser fire and I think that will really do us. No need to bring too much. Just rip apart things as we come. Try and get on top of this fighter bay as quickly as possible please. That would be great. So we'll do the same over here but I think it will be a bit too late on this particular cruiser. We might just lose this particular carrot. Let's bring that back. Focus that Pelsa please. Put you on this particular Venusa, or get to Grievous on the Venusa as well if possible. Focus, please, this very quickly. Move our bombers back a tad to begin with, unless our fighters soak up the damage. Should have brought in the bloody Omni, shouldn't we? The enemy is going to try and retreat. Get the Venusa's engines, please. Get the engines over here if possible. We've only got a couple of seconds left, that will do. And they will get away with everything else. That's a shame. That is a shame. But uh, not the greatest, uh, not the greatest loss there whatsoever. We did get a good amount of uh, carriers there, and they are rather nasty. So let's bring out some orbital defences. You can see they've gone to Rhodia. That's not a problem. We'll try now mount our attack on to Camino. We can bring this, uh, we can bring this fleet forwards as well to High Pori while that's uh, building up. Do stuff over Rathana as well. It does have a 300 credit income, so we certainly want to tax that. No special buildings, unfortunately. That leaves two more uh, structures available, so build just some extra factories there is always useful. Uh, we could build a go and one over Rishi, but it's not particularly needed at influence level seven. Uh, why is that so high? That's very interesting. Hmm. But uh, we don't need that, we're about to take Kamina, so we're not going to get attacked there anytime soon. Do just watch out on Bothwe, you can see the enemy has moved over to Ando once again. Uh, so we might want to actually chase that fleet down with Grievous. But first we do have the conquest of Kamino. So we're certainly going to bring in Pre Vizsla. And we're going to bring in some... Bring in some Mandalorian soldiers. The enemy will largely be infantry based. So I think actually some spider walkers and certainly some crab droids would do a good job to start with. Let's just move our infantry away from this pad so that we can build unimpeded there. Put up a military field base to get some more numbers on the ground. It's quite a distance to a uh, supporting command post. There we go. So let's just move in. Previously could scout ahead over to this five pointer over here. He does have the sprint ability and the jetpack to use. Uh, I think we'll do that. Use the jetpack, although it's a very slow moving jetpack, as you can see. It's not necessarily a movement option, although it does allow you to skip over certain uh, ground and terrain types. We'll support him, I think. With oh, we're gonna have to pull back actually. Support him with everything then. Yeah, the enemy is very much concentrated over here, so we'll probably just use a sprint ability to run away. Get in amongst the infantry first, though. He's very good at dealing with infantry with his dark saber. Although just uh, using his using his um, elbows there, by the looks of things, get rid of the speeders. That'll be the larger threats towards him so far. And we could use a sprint ability here, but we're not going to move. It does provide a damage reduction, which is very cheeky indeed. Move these spider walkers down a tad to actually help against things here. Pre Vizsla is taking a fair bit of damage. Got to remember, he's not actually force sensitive or a Jedi of any sort, so he doesn't self heal or absorb blasts of fire. Can fall into that trap very easily, actually. Let's move these down, support him. I should move these down and cycle the crab droids around because we are going to build it back to healing station here. Do see some speeders coming around though. Let's use our supers against them. They do have the wrist rockets to deal with that. Turn on, take cover there. As well, we should here. Focus the base here. Bit of a mess. Bit of a mess, but we're 
absolutely fine here. Bringing this spider walker. Enemy is trying to build a structure there. We'll bring back pre Vizsla to heal over here as well. And we'll actually build, I think, a support built field base for moving repairs and healing. I think now we want to bring in two units of this artillery. And I think, I think we bring some AATs for some good armor. And we'll do the same with the armored tank droids there. Command group these to number one so that we don't have to keep flipping back to them. Now with this group, I think we'll use this as a small raiding contingent to deal with this particular command post. The cloning facility down here, and I think the tax collection agency is over here. The second contingent will focus the main base. So we want to bring in, I think, some more. Bring in some B2s over here, and we will bring in some... Do we want dwarf spiders or a units of hellfires? I think we bring in units of dwarf spiders there. So bring these over, and that'll be a nice little contingent to raid down the south area of the map. Not too not too infantry focused in this particular contingent, but that's absolutely not a problem. Bring in this armored unit, which is a slow, steady, heavy hitting advance. Got a turret here to protect our um, artillery, but we might have to move those up. You can see the enemy coming in with some Hulk droids there. Because we're using attack move order, the enemy is going to well, our spider walks are going to get a bit confused. I'm trying to trample there. Move up the hags a tad. Looks like okay, the enemy does have an anti tank turret there. We'll have to deal with that very quickly. Come out of range then, deal with that at range with our AATs. Thank you very much. Trample the troopers. There we go. Does do a hell of a lot of damage. That's a second one over here. Let's pull back. Pull back. Take this particular one. Looks like it sounds like we're losing those. Uh, Vehicle droids. Uh, it's not good. So that's one unit down. We'll reset these. Moving with the infantry. Moving with some B2s. To scout ahead, get that anti vehicle turret. We do have access to bombardments and bombing runs, which is excellent. Let's move in a bit more, please. the artillery on this particular turret, thank you very much. How are we doing over here? We've captured this. Let's move down to the cloning facility. Get the artillery on there. Gonna lose a fair bit of infantry here. Let's pull back. Get the mobile repairs going. these thank you okay so we're on the cloning facility which is excellent Just deal with that I think what we want to do I want us to think about using our bombardment soon really just get some bursts of artillery over here thank you do that very nice indeed it's a bit of a slog Certainly could have done with fewer losses. Here's a barracks over here. Let's just bombard that very quickly to so save some time. Move over. Where's that uh, mobile healing? That's not the most powerful heals, of course. Dealt with the cloner facility over here. Spat out some garrison. Tax collection agency next. Deal with the naval academy over here, which has one and a half thousand hit points. We are going to keep the Mandalorian troops and such over here because of our late minute healing. Excellent stuff. Beaming down buildings there. Deal with the tax collection agency very easily. It's not a lot of health to that. 700. Artillery doing very well against the Naval Academy here. Uh, a bit of a walkover, a little bit of a miss micro when we lost the uh, armored tank droids, but it's really not a massive issue at this stage of the game, if we're quite honest. 
have dealt with the tax collection agency. Might as well move up over here. And it's just the final barracks now. So we'll send the artillery over there. Whistle down. Struggling with the terrain. Deceptively flat, apparently. That's absolutely fine. Artillery's done a good number on that barracks already. And that will be that. Just this final squad of troopers over here. And that's that. Camino is ours. Massive, massive game for us. Massive, massive game. We did actually lose some crab, crab droids as well, but again, we'll probably try and phase those out. So having said that, we'll beginning, begin that right now and create some Mark II droidicas from Hyporia and try those out later on. So, how long have we been going for? A good amount of time. I think what we'll do now is just finish up by removing this fleet over Ander. We do have to deal with uh, a fleet of Christosis. That's really not a problem. It's just a little Brucey bonus indeed there. So the fleet must have got wind that Grievous is moving in. Uh, we did actually take the long way around because we gave a direct command order to go to Ando rather than uh, go through Christophsis first. Not a bit of, not much of a problem there. Just got a small logistical error of putting all of these into the orbit there. Not a problem. Let's move in and destroy the fleet over Christophsis. She doesn't have grounds to orbit weaponry there. So we're not making that same mistake again. We're going to bunch up apparently, but we are going to deploy an interdiction mine immediately and move in to destroy these at remaining acclimators. And this really is the final fleet power around the southern sector of the galaxy, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, this will mean we can move freely among the remaining planets in this sector without threats of any counterattacks whatsoever either. Just get hold of these bloody bombers, pull them round a tad. Probably try and bomb the carrier over there. Get all of them on, that'd be brilliant. We get hold, our fighters are doing okay, but should really think about some incoming bombs apparently. Let's come in, might be that a tad better. Yeah, absolutely wasting the acclimators over here. If we can get our mouse such a cluster of enemies and such over here, we can't get our mouse over everything too tightly there. Full salvo, please. Deal with this shielded acclimator, it would be brilliant. Grievous, of course, can deal with. We can really see which acclimator has the most health. Uh, let's deal with this one. Accusants can deal with the damaged, unshielded acclimator here. That is bringing in correct. <laughs> Just can't get the mouse in here. You can see really heavy amount of fighters and such overlapping. We bring out our bombers. They're not doing too much here. Bring them back to you very quickly here at the uh, Omni. But I think by the time they go in and out, it'll be a bit too late. Let's get the tri fighters onto this unit of Y wings, please. Get onto the pelters here because they'll start hurting our fighters and such. Providence, could you please hurt the heavy cruiser? And Grievous can do the same actually because his massive amounts of massive turbo lasers aren't going to have the accuracy against these pelters. Might as well get uh, power to fire there with our own heavy cruiser. Focus that pelter, absolutely rips apart with some help from some bombers of all things. And let's go, what else do they have? Looks like they don't be forgetting, they do actually have that Haven class structure, the most basic of orbital stations there. That's absolutely fine, we can deal with that with just some bombers. We'll do the job, but of course we have to escort them with fighters. And there we go, coming in now, massive hail of rockets coming in there. We'll strip away the shields very handily there just before the bombs come in. Do a massive amount of damage. A shame all of the hard points are, you know, not so clustered up as we'd like. But not too much of a bother whatsoever. We're getting help from this uh, Dreadnought cruise as well. We will do power to weapons just to increase the firepower, of course. The outgoing damage there. And that will be the end of that fleet above Christosis. And the space around this sector of the galaxy is that much clearer for us. There we go. Did actually lose a carrier in that battle, which is a shame. Uh, but they do come ten a penny. Probably want to get Grievous another Providence, actually, just for more carrier capacity in that uh, 
fleet, so we could even just uh, get some more standard carriers out. Not that we're really stretched for pop cap, but it's quite likely we'll use Grievous's fleet, maybe combine it with one of these defensive fleets up here for an invasion on Kuat, and certainly when we do finally go towards Coruscant. So having de dealt with this area of the galaxy quite handily, I don't think it takes all of three of these fleets to uh, deal with this. So we're going to move Grievous up to this particular sector. And I think really to Collar 4, maybe Ethor, uh, because the enemy is producing a mild fleet over here. Uh, we could raid that immediately with Juaningo, but I think getting Grievous up to help immediately is a good priority over here. So we get him to Collar 4 for now. And I think, unfortunately, guys, that might have to be it. Might just have to be it for today. We've done a lot of battling, we've been going for quite some time, and in the next video we shall be using these Droidica Mark IIs. And they'll be very fun indeed. If they're anything like what they were in uh, Forces of Corruption base game, they'll rip everything apart. So uh, I shall see you then. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the future. May all of your nights and days be auspicious.